Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Harpal Gill, and this is my colleague, Bill Luton. Good afternoon. Today, we'd like to share a little bit of um, the Connects Data Integration Suite, and we'd love to show you how, as a BI or analytics user, you might want to consume data from a variety of systems. So, as there are many different BI tools in the world, uh, Excel is actually one of the most popular ones, and we've created an add-on right within Excel to give you um, access to over 150 different data sources with two-click access. To start off, I'm going to ask Bill just to show us that Connects ribbon. Bill, can you show us the Connects ribbon, please? I'd be happy to, Harful. So here we have Microsoft Excel running. And as you can see, we actually have a menu ribbon labeled Connects. And from this menu ribbon, we can access existing data connections. We can create new connections via wizard. And we also have a data pane that we'll be using today. Now the data pane actually combines the functionality of the use existing connection as well as the create new connection wizard. But it also brings in a read write capability that actually allows us to open connections in a read write mode, edit data in Microsoft Excel, and then ultimately commit those changes back to whatever data source we were connected to. Wow. So can you show us two-click access to a single data source, what that would look like, how easy that is? Absolutely. So out on the mainframe that we have on premise, I have a vSAM file that I have some customer information in. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to bring that data into Microsoft Excel. And all I have to do is I have an existing connection here and I'm going to double click it. And here it is. Wow. So this now is um, real time data access to the mainframe, bringing in that snapshot of data as it sits right now. Absolutely. You know, as a BI analyst, when I, when I see my customer data, I like to present it or organize it in a way that it's presentable um, to consume easy by region or geography. Can I do that here? Yes, actually you can. Ah. So if we come back to our spreadsheet, this is just a Microsoft Excel table. Okay. And as with any BI uh, tool, it has certain capabilities and one of its capabilities in a table is that you can sort the data. So let's go ahead and sort our data and let's sort it by country. And then within country, we'll also sort by customer name. You click OK. And now I have a view of my vSEM file and I can see my Canadian customers, I can see my UK customers, and I can see my US customers all grouped together. Wow, that's great. So this was coming off a mainframe on-premise, a vSAM database. You know, these days I'm hearing everything about the cloud. I've got customers that are telling me, we've got applications in the cloud, we've got a data lake in the cloud. Can I access that data with the same tool? You absolutely can. In fact, you can access data in any of the 150 plus supported databases. Oh. And I actually have some product information that's up in Snowflake Data Lake, and we're going to connect to it the same two-click access, double-click access, if you will. And we're now going out to the cloud. I've accessed Snowflake and brought in my customer info, or I'm sorry, my product information. So I have information about the, the product name, uh, product price, and some uh, detailed information about each product. That's great. So now we've sort of seen data coming from on-premise mainframe. We've seen some coming from the cloud. You know, as an analyst, I'm sometimes looking to get all the data in one place. Mm -hmm. Can, is it possible to get, I saw my customer data coming from the mainframe. Can I get that plus my product information? Plus maybe I have some additional information in a third system that I want to bring in. Can we do that here in one view? We absolutely can do that. So back to our Excel. I have created a connection that brings in the customer information that was in my vSIM file. I actually have order information in a DB2 table. And so we're going to bring that in and combine it with the customer information. But then with each order, the orders are for products. So we're going to want some product information as well. So what we're going to do is something that we actually call data virtualization. And I'm going to virtualize the data from these three different sources, the customer's file, the orders table, and the products table. And I'm gonna create a single virtual table 
that looks to Microsoft Excel as if it's everything's one table from one database. Ah. And so I'm going to double click my connection and behind the scenes, we actually went out and gathered up all the information from the vSEM file, from the DB2 table, as well as Snowflake, put it together and have now presented it. And Microsoft Excel has no idea that this came from three different data sources. Wow. You know, earlier when we brought my customer information in, we sorted it by geography. Because this is combined three different data sources, can I still do that? Absolutely. That's not a problem at all. Oh. Um, in fact, we do it exactly the same way. We're going to use Excel's sort capability. I'm going to press my sort button. I'm going to tell it that I want to sort on my country, just like we did before. And I'm going to add in the customer name. And now I have all my Canadian customers along with their orders and the description of those orders. And if we come down, then we see that we have our UK customers and we come further down and we'll see that we have our US customers. Wow. You know, that, this is great. This is perfect for consuming information. You know, one of the things I did, I'll call it in a task that we have to do is a lot of times we have to make changes to the data. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, uh, I've got to go into the application. I've got to do it screen by screen. Is it possible uh, with inflation the way it is these days, prices are going up. On that last view, we had um, we had a view of the products and their prices. Is it possible to go in and batch update a number of products and their prices? Can we do something like that? We absolutely can. So I think you're referring to this product table that we brought in earlier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another connection and I'm going to use that edit panel that I mentioned earlier. And we're going to create a read write connection to our Snowflake data lake. And so I'm going to open that up and we're going to read the data in again. Now it's in a spreadsheet. It's in Microsoft uh, Excel. And so let's just go ahead and change these values. So I'm just going to make up some numbers here. Sure. Um, okay. So I have updated just these first three values and I've updated them in the spreadsheet. Now they're changed in the spreadsheet, but we don't change them in the uh, source database until we've decided that we want to actually commit this. And the way we do that is we press our commit button and this provides us with a, a review screen of what changes we've been made. So I, it's showing us that we're updating three rows. Now, if I decide I don't want them, I can click revert and it will uh, throw these changes away and revert back to the original data. But in this case, I want to actually commit them. So I'm going to press commit. And you'll see that we've updated the data and it, it shows that all the updates were successful. Now, let's just go back to the read only version that we had before because you see that because we brought this in and it's static data, of course, it hasn't changed. So I'm going to just real quick refresh this one for you and you can see that we now have the new values. Ah, right there, it just changed. That's yes. great. That's perfect. That's, that's phenomenal. I appreciate that. So I want to thank everyone for their time. That really is the, the sum of the demo. And we'd love to um, share a slide that will actually share a little bit of information. On the slide, we talked today about the data access and data virtualization. We also have a third functionality, which is our data movement. The Connects Data Integration Suite is all three parts, data access, data virtualization, and data movement.